I was not expecting this snowstorm at all. And then I heard it breaking through some branches. Right now on Apple Valley News Now, live at 5, snow, wind, and more. The Northwest is cleaning up after the bomb cyclone. Plus, Monique Ledesma will join us with a live report. Also ahead, we're getting to know the Benton County Sheriff's Office's newest crime-fighting tool in the form of four legs. And Stacy's here. And we're still getting remnants of the bomb cyclone tonight with widespread rain showers. I'll get you all up to date coming right up. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good evening and thank you for joining us here at Midweek. I'm Austin Reed. We start with first alert weather. Parts of Interstate 84 in Oregon were shut down due to multiple crashes this morning. Around 8 a.m., high winds overturned a vehicle on I-84 westbound at milepost 221, which is just 12 miles east of Pendleton. The crash blocked both lanes. Now the roadway is back open this evening. These photos were just a half a mile away from a area outside Ellensburg. An Apple Valley News Now viewer named Shailene Imholt sent us these pictures from her property this morning. Now this area is just above the city of Ellensburg as you are heading westbound, but you can cle clearly see here this was uh, more than just a dusting, but again, this is due to it being in a higher elevation. Now in the city limits of Ellensburg, about an inch and a half of snow was reported. We also heard of light snow in Moses Lake reported last night by another Apple Valley News Now viewer. Sad news here, at least two people died when the bomb cyclone slammed into Washington State, Oregon and British Columbia. Now in Bellevue, the storm caused a tree to fall on a house, landing on and killing a woman who was in the shower at the time. The high winds caused massive power outages across the West Coast. Early reports say Washington State led the outages with nearly 500,000 customers affected. So let's get more insight on this week's weather. First alert, Stacy Lee joining us live from our weather center because she is preparing for another system to move in. Stacy. That's right, Austin. Busy, busy. The biggest impacts, of course, on this side of the state were the winds, and we have been tracking very gusty winds once again here along the foothills of the Blues. The wind advisory is still in place for another hour. Winds will start to decrease there overnight tonight. Let's take a look at our radar. We're seeing lots of widespread showers, still seeing remnants of this bomb cyclone. Hermiston, Tri-Cities, and uh, some of the foothills are getting wet tonight, and we'll continue to see that for the next couple of days. 46 degrees on our dust Devil Sky Cam winds at five miles per hour here. Our feels like temp is 44 on the chilly side, but a little bit above the average. So look for more scattered showers, more rain and valley fog. There was some dense fog early this morning in the Yakima Valley. That will more than likely occur once again. Lighter mountain snow, but still wintry weather in those mountains and more rain as we head into the weekend. I'll get to all the details coming up. Austin. All right, Stacey, we'll see in just a bit. The Washington State Patrol is investigating after a body was found on the roadway in Richland this morning. Troopers say around 9 a.m. the body was found in the median on eastbound State Route 240 within Richland city limits. The body was near the Aaron Drive and Interstate 182 interchange. Authorities have not released further information at this time, but we will keep you updated. New tonight, a black sedan crashed into a cinder block building right behind Domino's in downtown Kennewick shortly before four this afternoon. Multiple police, fire and medics were on the scene. This is on East First near Washington. The building suffered minor damage. No word just yet on any injuries or the cause of the crash. People who own storage units at Garage Town in Kennewick are returning to the site after a large fire damaged six units. The fire broke out last night around this time. Fire agencies from Richland, Pasco and Benton County teamed up with Kennewick crews to put out the blaze. Kennewick police also at the scene helping with traffic control. Three units are left with heavy fire damage, three others with water and smoke damage. Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma is talking with firefighters on how their job continues 24 hours after the fire has been put out. She joins us live now from the scene. Monique. Hi, Austin. Um, fire investigators and people who owned units at the 
can, at the storage unit right behind me, you can see you have returned to the scene. You can see a lot of people are, despite the rain, are out here trying to get out some of the stuff in their units. Construction workers over here trying to board up as well. The units that did catch on fire. You can see some of them are nailing on the boards right now. I don't know if you can hear the screwdriver in the background as well. Now, the Kenwick fire officials say at this point, the city's building official has given permission to the firefighters to make limited entry into the heavily burned portion of the units to ensure that they that there are no more hot spots. Now, the Kenwick fire stayed on location the last 24 hours to make sure the fire stayed out. KFD says building officials gave their owners the specific instructions on the next steps they will need to take in order to prepare the units and make them safe again. It did not appear there were any sprinklers in the building. Uh, it, there was a, a storage unit that appears it was uh, constructed before uh, any any rules would require it to have a, a sprinkler system in it. Now, fire officials are still investigating as to what the cause was. Now, earlier when I was on the other side of this fence right here, I did talk to some unit owners and I did ask to speak to the property management owners as well. Although the property management denied to give me an interview or answer any of my questions, I did talk to some unit tenants that were over there and you'll be able to hear from them later tonight on Apple Valley News Now. For now, reporting in Kenwick, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now, Austin. All right, Monique, we'll see you at six. Tuesday night was the second public hearing prior for adopting the 2024-2025 preliminary biennial budget for the city of Yakima. It was a packed meeting where members of the public had an opportunity to provide input. The general fund is the biggest concern because they are not receiving enough in that fund. A few things discussed last night include charging residents more on water, wastewater, stormwater, and taxes. Also introducing a levy lid lift on the next Next election ballot. And since for most of you all this is a encore performance, I'll try to be brief. We are running a deficit of 6.8 for 2025 general fund. Our revenues are not matching up with our expenditures, and I say that intentionally because expenditures are pretty much in the general fund remain static. And in the 2026, we have a deficit of 8.6 million. The budget talks will continue. Some of the other topics last night included an ordinance to create a fund to account for the Yakima Police Department pension and a small business Saturday proclamation was also made. An urgent plea tonight. The Yakima Humane Society says they are at capacity. Every single large dog kennel is full. This video shows just one of their runs and each run looks the same. Officials say they have had multiple animals dumped off at the facility this week. So if you have been thinking about adoption, check in with the shelter. By the way, all large breed adult dogs over 40 pounds are 50% off during the month of November. Comprehensive Healthcare in Yakima has launched a new campaign to recruit employees amid the healthcare worker shortage. Officials say recruitment is even more difficult in a rural area and they needed to go beyond career fairs. They launched the What We Do Means More campaign, including a new web page with employee testimonials, job postings, and information about extra benefits like tuition reimbursement, student loan assistance, and advancement opportunities. The emphasis on how behavioral health workers impact the community. Uh, the work that we do here is important no matter what your role is you're contributing to this overall um, m community impact for good for positive change comprehensive health care says since they launched the campaign at the end of last month they've already seen a sharp uptick in the number of applications they are receiving the Benton County Sheriff's Office swore in a new deputy this week. This is Deputy Blaze, an electronic detection canine. It is her job to sniff out all kinds of electronic evidence from micro SD cards to cell phones, air tags and more. The sergeant overseeing the Southeast Regional Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force says when it comes to child pornography cases, people will go to great lengths to hide photos or video collections. This will be a resource to combat that.
we'll do search warrants and we'll find a lot of a lot of things and we're very successful there but I can't even imagine what we've missed on there because every device that we miss every SD card could be hundreds of thousands of photos it could be a lot of new unidentified victims I mean the the amount that this potentially could do for solving crime especially crime against children in the Tri-Cities is huge now, when she's not out on search warrants, she is with her handler, Deputy Brett Hansen, the SRO at Riverview High School in Finley, a major resource in criminal investigations in the form of a 19-month-old retriever. Riley Fitzgerald tells us how Deputy Blaze will impact law enforcement investigations across the Tri-Cities coming up tonight at 6. It is Aviation History Month, which celebrates the contributions America made to the field, but specifically in training pilots for the war effort in World War II. And at Vista Field, along with the Aviation History Museum in Pasco, we spoke with Malin Burstrom, who says the Aviation History Museum used to be the Naval Air Station Pasco Control Building. Burstrom says the base was the third busiest training base in the United States during World War II. She also tells us that the weather and inexpensive land played a big role in why the Navy picked that location. They were able to train uh, Navy pilots to fly seven days a week, 365 days a year. So they logged uh, hundreds of thousands of flight hours uh, over the years that the base was in operation. Now, she also says the building is 82 years old and says aviation history in the Tri-Cities has dated back to 1926 with flying mail. And get this, in the year 2026, Pasco will celebrate 100 years of flying. And a Richland School District program is holding its annual turkey drive for RSD families in need of some support this Thanksgiving. The Community-Based Transition Center is a program of around 26 Richland School District students ages 18 to 22. The seven RSD secondary schools are in competition for a non-perishable food drive. And then community members are able to sponsor for the district to purchase perishable items like the turkeys. Scott Pipo is a work-based learning coordinator. He says not only is this a considerable act for the community, but it also allows his students who rarely have an opportunity to be a part of civic engagement and a team. Um, the students feel really good about it. And kind of like I mentioned is Individually, we can't all maybe do as much as we'd like, you know, students, staff, families, but when we collaborate and work together, then it's, it's kind of, it amplifies the impact on the community. Nearly 200 families in the school district community have been identified and the students in the program are, are working hard to make sure the distribution runs smoothly and the baskets and turkeys are ready to pass out. This Saturday at Chief Joseph Middle School, the students will be distributing the packages for families in need. There are still opportunities to get involved in donating. Learn more at applevalleynewsnow.com. Our News at 5 is just getting started. Still ahead, a local company is in need of warm clothing for the less fortunate. Plus, a local staple returns with new flair. We'll take you to Firehouse Subs. And Stacy returns with your full first alert weather forecast. We're back after this. Should we take a look at? What do you think? So here, from design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $500 off your tub or shower remodel. It's Mattress Depot USA's November sales event. Meaning no money down and no interest for up to three years on our best-selling mattresses. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. No matter how he got here, how alone she feels, how they've struggled to support their best friend, what's important is this moment when they reached out and said, I can't do this alone. And we said, that's okay, we'll figure it out together. If you or a loved one needs support, our trained counselors can help you too. 988, anywhere, anytime. Hit by a big truck, 
It could be from bad air hoses in the brake system. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, and at my law firm, we have a special team that knows how trucks work and what goes wrong. We know how to prove it was a truck's fault. Big truck insurance companies know that we have the experience and knowledge it takes to get you paid everything you deserve. Hit by a big truck, our team knows truck wrecks and how to win for you. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. Call 853-2222. Hey, babe, what's a five-letter word that starts with P-H and ends with N-E? Clue is get four of these for free with four lines for $90 a month at U.S. Cellular. James, have you tried the four free foam flakes? I love these free foam flakes. Ah! Hey, Dad, Dad, four free foam. Each serving has four free foams. Four free foams? Thanks. Oh. They're right behind me, aren't they? Choose four free phones and four lines for $90 a month. No trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular. Let a Mattress Depot USA sleep specialist put you on the mattress that matches your sleeping habits. Stop by today. You'll sleep better tonight. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. So what do you think about these? Yeah, we're going to take everything From up. design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,000 off your complete bathroom remodel. Judy Justice. And I'm just getting started. Weekdays at 4 on Apple Valley News Now. We have a business headline for you tonight. A sub-favorite in the Tri-Cities announced that the chain of restaurants is under new ownership. We're talking about... Firehouse Subs, the Richland, Kennewick, and Pasco locations are all open, and the one in Burbank is set to reopen next week. The West, West Richland location will reopen in 2025. The new owner is the company, uh, the new owner of the company, Making Dough LLC. A spokesman for Firehouse Subs says that they will continue to support local first responders. A portion of every purchase goes to the Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation, which has donated over $89 million to first responders and public safety organizations across the U.S. A Kennewick family who owns a community market on the corner of Clearwater and Quillen are looking to go above and beyond to keep the community warm, safe, and fed this holiday season. Stephanie Sparks and her husband Marlando are collecting anything from coats, blankets, and food by opening a limitless clothing closet. They say it's a way for those who don't have a lot to find something warm to have during the winter. Sparks says her love of wanting to help others dates back to when she was just a little girl. I watched my grandmother help people in the community um, who didn't ha who didn't have what we did, and um, we didn't have a lot. We just knew that whatever we had, we were going to make enough for make it work for everybody, and so that was just something that I felt needed to happen here in this community. Sparks says they only have three blankets left. You can donate those items at the Restoration Community Market on Clearwater. Limitless Clothing Closet is open Wednesday through Friday, 11 to 3 at Limitless Restoration Church in Kennewick. The Yakima Morelia Sister City Association is celebrating its 25th anniversary with a special send-off. An older and now retired Yakima Fire Department fire engine is making its way to Morelia, the capital of the state of a state in Mexico, where first responders will be will be able to use it in their firefighting operations. This is the fourth fire apparatus the association has been able to coordinate using fundraisers and memberships to pay for the cost of transporting the fire engine to the border. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. That's right. Let's get out there and take a look at the radar active weather uh, little bits and pieces all around the Pacific Northwest. You can see a majority of the, uh, the system is moving to uh, Northern California where they're seeing massive amounts of rain. We'll get to that in a sec. We're seeing widespread showers in our area. Still some light snow falling in the blues and we do have some light snow falling tonight across the Cascade Mountains. We've been tracking strong gusty winds and we've been seeing them pretty much all day. The wind advisory here along the foothills of the blues expired 
fires at six, so we'll start to see those winds die down. Taking a peek outside in Yakima, 39 degrees, seeing some light rain there this evening. Humidity 86%. That feels like temp 37, so a little bit on the cool side. And we could see some patchy fog developing. That atmospheric river still, still happening, still going, but moving down south into California. That is the trend. They're looking at uh, flooding potential here from Medford all the way down to Redding uh, into uh, the uh, just above San Francisco all the way out towards Reno. So heavy mountain snow there will continue to see rain showers all the way through Friday from this storm. Check out some of these totals in Northern California. 15 to 20 inches of rain pointed right at their area. So getting a lot more rain out of that system as we are as well tonight. We are seeing those light mountain showers like I said rain through the region this evening. It'll start to kind of taper off and move to the east of Tri-Cities more towards uh, Hepner, Pendleton and Walla Walla, Hermiston. We'll see some cloudy skies, a few stray showers through the day tomorrow. More snow along the east slopes of the Cascades outside of Yakima. Cloudy skies for the rest of the day, but as we get into early Friday morning, late Thursday night, Friday morning, heavy rain showers once again in the area with lots of mountain snow developing. And then we'll stay unsettled through uh, the first part of Friday. Getting into the weekend, though, you can count on some more showers. Here's our area wide chances. Again, a very high probability on Friday. Lesser chances, but still some scattered showers Saturday and Sunday and a chance for some rain all the way into next week. So very active weather. Three to four inches additionally accumulating at White Pass. We're going to see much lighter conditions across the other passes, Cabbage Hill. But again, still seeing some light snow falling in those upper elevations. Here's those temps tonight on the warmer side, especially in the foothills. Uh, just uh, under 40 degrees for Pendleton and Dayton 41 tonight. Walla Walla, we're staying well above the freezing level in the Columbia base and a little cooler up towards Yakima and Ellensburg. Here's your seven day planning forecast. Wet weather, a lot less of a chance on Saturday, but count on a few uh, raindrops as well. Then we'll start to see rain dry up, but cooler temperatures heading into next week. Here's what it looks like in Yak Yakima. Very uh, active weather. Fog possible late tonight, early morning hours could impact impact your commute in the morning. Ellensburg will be seeing some uh, dense patchy fog also, especially along the highway areas and temperatures cooling into the lower 40s next week. There's those rain showers possible more so towards the foothills there. Walla Walla looking at some breezy winds once again Thursday night into Friday morning. And again, those rain showers continue. Here's what Hermiston looks like rainy breezy winds on Friday. 90% uh, chance of rain there, so a wet day and then we'll start to taper off into the week. So active weather, Austin, uh, the bomb cyclone, it uh, well delivered what it we did. thought it would deliver, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snow and gusty winds and blizzards and yeah. Yeah, at, at least it, it seems like this next system isn't going to be as bad. Right, it's going to so. be wet, but not as windy. Right, right. So, okay, yes. we'll take that. Uh, the spotlight is coming up when we come back. The Kraken's in L.A. to face the Kings, Saturday at 1230 on MeTV. At Numerica, we've got money answers for people with betrachophobia. Honestly, same. Get money answers for you and only you. Learn more at numericacu.com. It's that time of year again to get the Honda of your dreams during Happy Honda Days, where you'll find great offers on an efficient CRV hybrid, Spirited Accord hybrid, Sporty Civic hybrid, and the all-electric prologue. Don't wait, turn your dreams into reality with a new Honda named KBB.com's best overall EV and hybrid brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Since 1968, Sundown M Ranch has helped over 200,000 patients and families recover from the effects of substance use disorders. I was ashamed, humiliated, and not sure if I could be helped, but I listened and found a completely different way to live by spending time at Sundown. I did not believe there was a way out of the dark hole my life had become. Sundown M Ranch provided a foundation for me to find a new way to live. Sundown M Ranch, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Our business is changing lives through the power of work. I work out here to help customers with donations, greet them and thank them, that's what I do. I got two spirit awards of recognitions. When I retire here, I will say goodbye to the store and they will honor me probably and, and put, might put a nice plaque on the wall that I worked for many years. I like it here. I'm in a better place at Goodwill. I really like the administration here, so that's excellent for me. 
Goodwill. Donate. Shop. Impact locally. Welcome to Knob Hill Casino in Yakima. Experience the thrill of our Vegas-style casino, featuring the friendliest dealers in town. Join our Players Club and earn exciting rewards. Enjoy games like Blackjack, Pai Gao, and High Card Flush. While you're here, don't forget to unwind with a drink at our cozy bar or enjoy a meal from our restaurant. Come discover Yakima's ultimate entertainment destination, Knob Hill Casino, where the locals play. Dishwasher on the fritz. Laundry. Giving you fits. A water heater that quits. In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer. The world's best. Put your water worries to rest. At Numerica, you'll find money answers for loud sneezers. <laughs> Gesundheit. Get money answers for you and only you. Learn more at numericacu.com. Check this out because the spotlight tonight takes us to Pendleton. Thanks to the Pendleton Public Library and the library's Transforming Communities grant, the center's tot time and special needs gym time equipment got a much needed facelift. As you can see here, there is a brand new bouncy house and even sensory toys. Toy, tot ha uh, toy time, I should say, happens weekdays at 10 a.m. Want to be in the spotlight? Send me an email. It's easy. A read at applevalleynewsnow.com. All right. When we return, final look at the forecast and, of course, our viewer photo of the day. Josh Cobra, first alert weather on Good Morning Northwest from Apple Valley News Now on your side. I'm loving a pizza. Loving a pizza. Tony's Big Cheese Pizza. Loving a pizza. I've been loving a pizza. Tony's Big Cheese Pizza. And Yakima's whole town. Mom, let's order a large pepperoni pizza. Go, Tony, make cheese pizza. Good idea. I'll order it now. Tony's lets me order online or by phone. When you want lunch or dinner the delicious, easy way, come to Yakima's hometown pizzeria. We can't wait to see you at Tony's Big Cheese Pizza in the Safeway Plaza at 24th and Knob Hill. I have two options for you to take a look at. When it's time for an update or a complete remodel. Just watch yourself there. So here, guys, we're going to rip everything down to the stud. Rebap is with you every step of the way. From design and products to removal and installation. Okay. What do you guys think? We handle the entire process right. to create a beautiful and functional bathroom for whatever your life needs. <laughs> Rebath, with you every step of the way. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,000 off your complete bathroom remodel. The fridge is broken. How are we going to replace it before the holidays? Huh. Swing into Fred's Appliance today for our Black Friday Super Sale and experience unbeatable deals on the largest selection of in-stock, get-it-today inventory in our region. This spacious GE French door refrigerator is on sale now for only $13.99. With a large capacity of 27 cubic feet, this refrigerator will easily store large or bulk food items with three full-width shelves. At Fred's, we sell appliances only appliances. Why do people come to the University of Washington? They come here to find people who will inspire them, move them, change them. They come to solve big problems and prepare for careers where they can make a difference. They come to cheer on their Huskies in the greatest setting in college football. If you want to change the world, this is where you start. For passion, for possibility, be boundless. It's time to fall into $140,000 in cash and prizes at Wild Horse Resort and Casino. Every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're giving away up to $13,000 in cash and prizes. Keep the excitement going by playing with your club card to earn entries every day for a chance to drive off in a brand new Kia Telluride on November 23rd. Fuel your fall fun at Wild Horse Resort and Casino. More winners, more often. Thank you guys for making Apple Valley News Now's Good Morning Northwest and ABC's Good Morning America the most watched morning news on local TV. Thank you. What's new, what's now, and what's next? Plus, first alert weather every 10 minutes. Wake up with Apple Valley News Now. We're on your side. On your side. Next ET, one-on-one -on -one with Kiki Palmer. Plus, from Wicked to Jurassic World, we're with Jonathan Bailey. Then, ET's Hawaii Week continues with more Moana 2 exclusives. Next ET, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. 
And welcome back. We wait for this every day. The viewer photo of the day. Come to your screen. Check it out. Look at that snow. This is a view from uh, entrance to the Yakima River Canyon side of Sela. So yes, yeah, snow all around the city of Yakima. And again, the Menash Tash Ridge got some heavy snow going over roads were closed. Things are still snowing, but looking a little bit better. Yeah. Let's go to the bottom line and let you know what's going on. Widespread showers, decreasing winds, uh, peeps in Yakima and along foot or excuse me, Walla Walla foothills of the blues. You've been dealing with that all day. Snow, wintery mix, patchy, dense fog uh, through our mountains and valleys. Wet weather into the week and the first part of the weekend anyway. Uh, let's take a look at your day tomorrow. So look for some widespread scattered showers in the morning. Rain shadow, tri cities, yay, dry at the bus stop. <laughs> Everybody else, though, will start to see some rain, so keep your rain gear handy. Spray. I got some new suede boots. I need to spray them. They got wet today. Don't let that happen. Don't let that happen. <laughs> Hoping your news is good news. We're back at 6. Have a good night.